There are laws protecting people that break into your home and want to stay there illegally. It doesn't make any sense, right? There's been an influx of people thinking that they can just squat in people's homes and eventually try to seize them through adverse possession action. Somebody breaks into your home when you're not there and just says, you know what? I'll stay here for as long as I can. The law protects people like this, known as squatters. He says the couple inside told police they had a lease. They have no contract, no agreement with me. Gwinnett County Police are saying that there's nothing that they can do. He was told to go to magistrate court the following Monday and file a dispossessory notice, which means going through a lengthy evictions process and a backed up court system to get his own house back. That same day, the man in the house calling himself Raymond Cortez texted that he would leave, but for a price. That's a shakedown. Are you kidding me? Did you just drive back from a long trip and you got home? You just parked the car, kids are screaming, you're waiting to get inside the house. But as soon as you're about to open the door, you put the key in the slot and it doesn't open the door. You glanced inside through a window crack and you realize that it's completely vandalized and it's filthy. And all of a sudden you see somebody that's unknown inside your home. So what are you going to do? Whatever you do. Do not use that S word. You know that nasty word, squatting. If you call 911 and say that you have squatters in your home, the police are just gonna turn this into a civil matter. It's gonna be a very long process and you may even be months or even years from obtaining your home back. A lot of these people are con artists that then fight you in front of the cops, not physically, but they'll fight you with fraudulent documentation. They'll say, what are you talking about? I'm a tenant here, I have a lease. Unless you face me, my money that I put into the house, pay me the money and I'll leave. Or send me to court and we deal with the judges in court. You have homeowners being arrested, unjust treatment, Across the board. Being arrested. For what? For being in my own home. Well, luckily in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis, he just passed legislation eliminating this whole squatter scam. In Florida, if you're a victim of squatting, go to your local police department and fill out a form, give it to your sheriff, and they're going to go and take that person out. If you live in a state where you're at the mercy of squatter laws, then these are some best practices to consider. You could have video surveillance on the property. That way you can see if there's anyone suspicious roaming around your property as soon as they even attempt to break in. You could just call 911 right then and there. There's no chance for them to settle and pretend that they've been living there for whatever duration of time the law allows. I'm sure you've seen on the news all these lax rules and states where they allow this type of squatting situation to just get out of hand. If you're purchasing a foreclosed home, most of the time it's sight unseen so it's best practice to swing by make sure there's nobody living in there before you sign on the dotted line because once you take possession of that home it's your full responsibility so depending in which state you live it's going to depend the type of recourse it's going to take for you to fight this person in court if you rent airbnbs you have to be careful because if you rent for 30 days or more that person can decide they want to stay there they have just become a tenant you're gonna have their credit card on file so if anything happens they can charge the credit card but if this person is a con artist they most likely have somebody else's credit card so it's gonna be a fraudulent charge on a victim's card and that's where everything just becomes a mess you're gonna have to start the eviction process and you're gonna have to fight them in court to get them out. But if it's 29 days or less, you don't have to worry about the eviction process. There was a recent story where a New York resident inherited a property from a family member and when she went to see the property, she noticed there were squatters living there. They changed the locks and when law enforcement arrived, they arrested her. How unfortunate. Do not even try to physically force these people off your home. You're gonna end up getting arrested. The American dream turns into the American nightmare. I'm happy I live in Florida. In 1992, this is when Hurricane Andrew destroyed Miami. These natural disasters also bring out the worst in the community. Looters start coming out. They start vandalizing people's possessions. They start trying to rob them. So you have to defend yourself. You know you're looting, right? You know you're stealing. That duplex you see behind me, I grew up there in 1992. I was seven years old and I lived there for about five years. So many fond memories, but a few stick out. I actually looked up this duplex just now on a Google Earth search. So I used to call this place the White House. It used to be painted white, but something that hasn't changed are the reinforced burglary bars that are on the windows. Tremendous fire hazard. I got my son asking me for more V-Bucks on Fortnite. And then it brings me back 
So in that same duplex, I was playing with my cousin outside and all of a sudden I step on something and I'm like, what is that? And I go back to it. It looked like just a piece of paper on the floor. It was all crunched up. So when I grab it, I'm like, wait a minute, 20 bucks. Oh my God. I just hit the lotto. And then my cousin's like, oh man, what are you going to do with it? Let's go to Blockbuster and rent a game. And he's like, are you sure? I don't want you to spend all your money. And I'm like, yeah, but I just found it. I mean, uh, this was unexpected. I'll share the wealth with you. So I remember renting Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And I'm pretty sure I threw in a couple candy bars or something. So back in the day, you rent a game or you buy a game and that's it start unlocking everybody by beating the game so you unlock everybody you can but nowadays you have games like fortnite you have to pay an extra seven bucks ten bucks 25 bucks to unlock extra features and skins in those days i was scared of like this homeless person that stole my skateboard one day because across the street from this duplex it used to be a, a parking lot like one of those costco sized parking lots and i would play with my cousin there and all that so one day i left my skateboard the skateboard looked really cool on the top part where you actually stand on it it was like a person looked like a cool skateboarder guy on the bottom side, it was actually the Little Mermaid. Somebody gave me that as a gift and it was from the flea market. So, I mean, uh, you, you work with what you got. Maybe that's why I didn't protect it with my life. It's almost like I was yearning for somebody to come steal it. It was sundown already. And then I'm like, ah, I can't wait to eat my grandma's beans. Even though during those days I was a horrible eater. I would put a mountain of white rice over the steak and pretend that I finished my meal. I didn't have a dog, but my cousin would just end up eating all my food. Extra protein. But right before we were walking into the duplex, my cousin goes, hey, man, you sure you're going to leave that skateboard out there? And then I remember looking back and being like, eh, it's fine. It'll be safe. I have the little mermaid, though, on the bottom side. I'm not really trying to care too much, you know. So the next morning, nonetheless, I still wanted to go skateboarding. As soon as I open the door, I see a homeless person with my skateboard and a cart full of stuff. But this person looked very intimidating. They were very dirty and they had like rags on. I told my cousin, uh, somebody has my skateboard. And then he goes, go get it. So I look back. I'm like. Basically, I was terrified. So then since my elementary school was very nearby, I decided to sprint. I told him, wait, I got to get some water first. And then I sprinted. I mean, now that I think about it, why didn't I just drink water inside the house? It was basically an excuse, you know, flight or fight. And at that point, I fled. So I ran to the water fountain, which was like a block away, drank water. And then through my peripheral vision, I still saw the homeless person walking. Now I'm like, all right, let me walk toward him. But I'm, I'm not going to get close. I had no intention of, of asking for that thing back. So that was a moment of defeat. Somebody took my skateboard and then I went back and he goes, what happened? I'm like, no, they took it, man. I don't know. Couldn't catch up. I, I mean, I lost him. But now you imagine that same homeless person were to be squatting in that home and then claim the home. That was not even crossing my mind. But luckily now, at least in Florida, we don't really have to worry about squatters because we know that law enforcement has got our back. They're not just going to pass the buck just because of the technicality of calling an intruder that's trespassing and breaking into your home a squatter. Absurd. I never thought that there could be somebody that would want to break in and, and take over somebody else's home. All you have to do now as a landlord in Florida is visit your local police department and sign a form and the sheriff will immediately evict that person from your home. As we've seen on the news, it doesn't matter what state, we're talking about New York, California, even Texas, other places, it, it could happen anywhere. But luckily, Florida did something to change the unfairness and the unjust. Laws are supposed to be just, but sometimes they're just insane. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow a following of like-minded people. I'm going to be speaking a lot of past experiences, many reflections that I have that I feel like will benefit many people, not just my kids. Bye. I just realized my kids are squatting in my house. See you soon. Take care.